Greetings. This is the Sunday homily from the dining room. So first of all, I want to assure all the parishioners of my personal prayer. So on Sunday, I'm going to offer my private mass for all the parishioners of St. Michael living and deceased. And just wanted to mention the three options for celebrating the Sunday worship at home this Sunday. So the first option would, of course, be to watch a live stream mass. Either EWTN or Archbishop Nauman is going to live stream his mass. The second option is I'm so grateful to our St. Michael staff, staff and Father Wager, who have recorded a Sunday service that can be watched at home. And while there's merit to watching the video stream or uh, the Sunday service at home on TV, I would encourage also you to consider a third option, and that's actually printing out the Sunday service from our website and celebrating that as a family. So actually doing the readings together as a family and a prayer service together as a family. I want to just look briefly at the gospel. So these people come to Jesus and they say, was this man born blind because of his sin or the sins of his parents? And I think that raises a question for all of us in the midst of this coronavirus. Is this the result of humanity's sin? And is this God's wrath coming down upon us because of our sin? Archbishop Nauman, in his video message, he said, I don't think this is God's wrath upon his people as a result of our sin. We know that God doesn't will evil, but that God can bring good even out of the challenges and difficulties of our life. So God could be allowing this to bring us to deeper conversion and deeper repentance. I want to mention three, uh, perhaps, fruits that can come out of this crisis. First, the Archbishop has touched on this, that he's hoping this time of crisis will actually strengthen our families. This last summer, I was at a conference in Italy by Monsignor Benetti on marriage and family life. And one of the things he said is he said, you know, God didn't come to just dwell within the four walls of our church. Yes, Jesus is present there, the Eucharist, but God wants to dwell in our hearts and in our families and in our homes. So I hope this is a time that we will have our eyes opened to see God's presence in our families. Now, you may be home with your kids and start thinking like, well, my kids are starting to annoy me, or children, you're, you may feel like your parents are annoying you. And rather than just focusing on the annoyances or weaknesses of our family members, look beyond the appearances. That's what our first rating says. Look beyond the appearances into the heart, and we should see Christ in our family members, that through our baptism, we become temples of the Holy Spirit, that God dwells within each one of us. So see each member of your family as a gift and blessing to you. And God is trying to draw certain virtues out of you through each member of your family, and you're meant to be a gift and blessing to your family members. So the first fruit, hopefully, will be uh, to have our eyes open to God's presence with us in our families. Secondly, in this time where we're fasting from the Mass and from the Eucharist, any fast awakens a hunger. And I hope that our hunger will be awakened for Jesus' presence there in the Eucharist. Sometimes we can take for granted uh, the Mass. And so hopefully this fast from the Mass will open our eyes to the treasure we have as Catholics this Sunday, I'm inviting all of us to make a spiritual communion, to pray that prayer of spiritual communion together as a family and invite Jesus into your heart. So Jesus will give you grace by making that act of spiritual communion this Sunday. Finally, I think this crisis, and especially the economic hardship that it's causing on many people, will serve to open our eyes to the true value of things that the world is passing. Um, if our faith or our trust is in the stock market, obviously uh, we're going to live our lives on a roller coaster. But also with movie theaters and restaurants being closed, it maybe awakens us to how much of our time we really seek 
uh, distraction in our life. And this will bring things into focus as to what's truly important. So hopefully this crisis will be an eye-opening experience for all of us. As Jesus healed the man born blind, may all of our eyes be opened.